So what's going on everybody? I want to do another video and show you guys how to download attachments from Gmail and save them to your computer and then copy those to a flash drive. Um, I believe I know where the confusion may be for some emails I received. Um, people were requesting, you know, could you make a video showing me how to save my email Gmail attachments or email attachments to my flash drive. So here's how you'd want to do it. Um, one thing with it is, is you know, you got to know what browser you're using. The browser I'm using right now is Google Chrome. Um, the other browser that's popular is the Internet Explorer browser. So each of these browsers are pretty much the same, but they vary, you know, and where their settings are and where they download things to, unless you go in and tell them where to, to download stuff. So my browser here, over here in the top right, there's a little menu tab. So what you want to do is the first thing you do is open your browser up and you want to go to this menu tab and come down to settings. Select settings and then you're going to get in here to the settings. Down at the bottom there's another link that says show advanced settings. You want to click that and that opens up some more advanced settings. Now the one you're looking for is here the one called downloads right here. This is your download location. I have mine set to download straight to a server. Um, one I have in the house so and I have it going in my downloads folder this is where you need to know first where this is set for so this string right here in order to get into that I would go into my network here and then go to server and then go to share because share is next after these slashes you see it says server so if you look up here I'm just going into that directory like this is server and then I'd go find share E which is right here double click that that puts that up here then it gives me another uh, backward slash and PCO so I'd go into PCO and then another backward slash to go into downloads so that's how you get in here to your downloads and that's how you find you know your file that you're downloading so if I right now if we close out of these settings and I go in here and I open this email up. I created a test email here too. And I sent myself a picture of something I took from one of the um, uh, Pennsylvania Grand Canyon I went to. So if you just hover over the, the picture with the cursor here, you can see this one pops up and says save to drive. That's not your hard drive. That's Google Drive. And unless you guys are using Google Drive, um, you wouldn't want to save to that so you don't want to click that one the one you want to click is where it says download with the arrow now if you click that it's gonna pop up down here and this is like an in-between phase um, you know there is you could click on this and it's just gonna show your picture but there's also a little tab next to it here if you can see it. it's got a little arrow and what you want to do is you want to click that arrow and go to show and folder this is going to take you right into that directory right where you have the actual folder of the file you downloaded so there it is I'm going to delete one of them because I did it earlier but right here's the file that I downloaded that's the canyon so if I click that it opens up and shows that picture now in order to get that picture from here over to a flash drive I got a little 4 gig flash drive here I'm just going to plug that into my computer And I'll give it a second here to pop up, which yours should do the same. And what you want to do is click Open Folder to View Files. Now, this is the flash drive itself. Mine's called G Drive. So if you manually want to go into that, I'm going to close out of it for a minute and just show you how to manually go into it. If you plug your flash drive in, the next thing you'd want to do is go over here, find your My Computer icon, wherever it may be on your computer. This is a Windows 7 computer that I'm, I'm showing you guys this on too. So in here... If you're confused, and once you get into my computer, once you click on my computer as to what drive your flash drive is, simply unplug your flash drive and you'll see it disappear and plug it back in. And as you can see, this one disappeared and this is the one that popped up. This here is my flash drive. Now all you got to do is double click on it, okay? And this flash drive is 4 gigs and it's completely empty. So I'm going to move this page over and slide this page over. And again, down here's my picture I downloaded. And all you got to do, 
um, here is you can either cut and paste it over in this folder on your flash drive or copy it. If you want to leave a copy on your computer hard drive, then obviously you would just click copy. Go over here in the white area, right click, and click paste. And that puts it right onto your flash drive here. That's all there is to it. So you can right click on any of these folders, any of these files, anything like that, you know, that you download and paste it over there. Now if I if I want to cut that picture, I can click cut and paste it in there. And it's going to ask me because the file already exists. I'm just going to move and replace it. Now that actually cut it off of my hard drive, so it's no longer on my hard drive. It's still an attachment in my email because when you download the attachment it still leaves a copy sitting in your email but that's how you get it over on the flash drive and you can simply close out of those folders now real quick if if that's um, confusing at all I'm gonna go back into the downloads folder so let's go down to the, the browsers settings I want to look at the download folder again. Go down to show advanced settings. Now this download location, let's say I want to make this more simple. Okay, when you first download Google Chrome, you can uh, click these little arrows and minimize all that stuff. Under your name will be here, under your user account, just select desktop and click OK. Now you can see it's going to go right on my desktop now, which is out here somewhere. So now, now what we can do, and this is the same thing, we just changed locations of where I'm going to download the file. If I go back in here and click download, it's going to pop up right here on my desktop. So right over here, and that's a simple way of doing it. So that's the first thing that you guys could do, you know, if, if it gets too confusing to you or you can't find your downloads folder, just go in here to settings. I'll show you real quick one more time. Go to advanced settings and then change the location of where you want the download to go when you click download from the email and it'll pop up right here now to go another step further if I want to take the picture that I got here and put it you know on the flash drive just go to my computer again look for your flash drive and mine's right here double click it you can simply go over to this picture now click on it left click on it and hold your finger down on your mouse and drag it over and drop it right onto your flash drive so you know and this this one here would be a copy it would leave a copy on there so that's all you gotta do now if you wanna get rid of the things that are left over down here um, you can go back into your menu here and go to downloads and this is like I said it's like an in-between um, spot it just shows you things you've downloaded this is you know not where you want to try and save files from so what you do here is you click remove from list and that cleans up your downloads so or click clear all over here and then just close out of that tab so now let's say you were using Internet Explorer and you were trying to download that file over here there's like a little gear called tools you just come down here to where it says view downloads and click view downloads and then your downloads would be, you know, you'd see the picture in here, but what you want to do is click down here where it says options and default download location. Again, it's set to go directly to your downloads folder. So what you do from here is click browse, and that'll take you right in here to your folder, into your downloads folder, where I downloaded the picture previously. And then what you would do is right click, copy the picture, go to my computer click on your flash drive here and right click and paste just click paste and it will put the picture right in there so that's how you would do it if you're using Internet Explorer or like I said you can change this location to your desktop if it makes it easier most of us besides me I change everything around because I have a server but most of us if you just go to my computer and go on your C drive here and go to users find your name in the list here and when you click on it in here you'll have your downloads folder so you could also get to it that way 
So that's pretty much all I have for you guys on downloading um, a Gmail attachment. You know, open it up, click the little download. Just know that you have your browser set up where you want it to download the file to. Go in to that folder, cut, cut it or copy it. Open up your heart, your flash drive here, and, and just paste it right on the flash drive. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope that worked out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, comment my video. Um, you guys have a good one. Thanks.